Welcome to Herman Hits the Road, and in this video, I'm going to be repairing this cupboard door. Now, the cupboard door is made up of two parts. You've got the outer side, the outer part. This is actually wood, I do believe. And then this inner part is a very fine... Uh, a very lightweight type of wood, maybe some sort of fibre board or something. Now the damage is actually at the bottom of the door here, so there's the hinges. The bottom of the, the, the cupboard door is actually coming away, the whole thing is coming away and there is some cracking forming on this plastic veneer here as well. So the idea is that we want to take it off, remove this from, separate the two, uh, take off this plastic veneer and replace it. Uh, now, I can replace this with a plastic uh, wrap that you can buy from many stores, uh, but it's going to be difficult to get the exact same colour and grain type, wood type. So what, I, what we're going to do is replace it with something entirely different. And... Uh, this is what we're going to replace it with. That's going to look very funky. Right, first thing is that I need to do is take or separate these two parts. Now I've got to be very careful when I'm removing the, this panel because all along here there are U-shaped pins. And I want to, well, I'm thinking about keeping them and maybe you reusing them to, uh, to mount it back in. The piece of wood that uh, on the panel, the thickness of the wood here where the pins go in is very thin. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a tricky one. And of course, as I, it's happening now, as I push the, the panel out, the pins are actually going straight through this panel here and uh, make it a little hole. In fact, this side, you can actually see, that's why this crack is occurring, is pulling the veneer, this piece of veneer here is still attached because the pin is in place. So I'm just going to apply some gentle persuasion. It's just a shame to remove, push these out because uh, these are quite good, quite very strong. So now I'm just using a small screwdriver just to prise the panel off. And what's happening? That clicking is the veneer still connected to the pin breaking. It's now lifting away from the panel a bit up here. I think that's it. Yep. So, oh, okay, so it's been glued as well in some places around here. I want to take these pins out. See the pin there? I want to take them out. I want to reuse them if I can. Uh, <laughs> I doubt it, but uh, yeah, this all needs to be cleaned up. Pins removed. This is going to be easy to remove, so I need to remove this side. I, I want to keep this side. Remove this side. And. Uh, then I need to sand it down, remove any glue, and then we're halfway there. Wow, that's coming off quite, quite easily. I thought that would be difficult. Oh, it will be now and split. It's like trying to get a label off one of your, one of a package. You know, you don't want, it, you don't want it to split. Otherwise, you'll never find the corner again. So it's coming off quite easily. Oops, I didn't want that to happen. Oh, okay. Oh, still doing it, still coming off. Almost. There you go. 
look how thin that is. It's just, it's almost a cross between MDF and cardboard. And I don't want to sand this too much, but there's some glue here which I'll need to remove. I don't want to sand it too much because it's quite thin on the ends, on the edges. And I don't want to damage it. It's already damaged now. No going back. I've just sanded this back using 120 paper. Uh, and then, which made it nice and smooth, well, I guess it could be better, but it's fine. There's a, I've got a key on there now for my next step. Uh, and then I've wiped off the dust uh, with this clean cloth. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to measure up the paper on the top of here and then get to gluing it down. Just making sure I've got this up the right way. I'm going to write on here some words. Top. So I'm, I'm just offering the paper up to the, uh, the panel here. And what I want to do is get as many of these motifs on ones on here as possible. So I'm thinking of having this in the bottom left, going across here and then these ones as well. And then I'm just gonna line it up and then underneath here, I just need to make some marks to give me an idea because it's gonna be upside down when I cut when I uh, glue it. Not the best pencil in the world. It's just a guide. So hopefully I can see some marks. Yeah, I can. So that's on there, that's on there. Top, top. That's going to line up with that. We're almost ready. We're going to use uh, this stuff, Bostic Fast Tack. Um, I guess it's like spray mount. Um, I'm going to spray this panel and the paper and I think we're going to have a problem with when we get it into the corners so I'm going to need to get a knife so I can cut the corners um, and so I can fold them in. until it goes tacky. Right. That should be enough time. Now it's time to line it up. It's more or less that. worried about in the corners. Not too bad actually the corners. Not seeing any air bubbles. Beauty. 
Okay, so uh, I need to clean this up first, but I just wanted to see what it looked like. Because I'm an impatient person. There you go. That's what it's going to look like. And it fits in nicely, actually. I don't have to trim it too much. I just need to get the pins. Find some way of mounting it back into the frame. This is the old glue coming off. I've now cleaned up all the way around the edge here. All the pins are out and I tried to hammer the pins, one of the pins into the wood, but uh, that was not working. I really need to kind of staple them in. I mean, that's what they are, they're staples. But I don't have any staples. So instead what I'm gonna do is I found these screws, these wood screws. So I'm gonna, when I, uh, I'm gonna make that up to there and then I'm gonna screw them in like, no, I'm joking. I'm joking, joking. Instead, what I'm going to do is, I think what I, what I don't want to do really is glue it. Uh, for various reasons. But um, I found this stuff in my toolbox. And it's double-sided uh, tape. It's very sticky. I thought about putting a piece of here, a piece here, either side. Uh, putting that down like that. But, um... That should stick that firmly, but it's, of course it's only going to be sticking to the paper. So uh, to to help it along as well, I found um, uh, these little pins here. I'm just going to take the plastic thing off, and I'm going to nail the pins in like halfway, so just to give it a bit more strength. So what do you think? I quite like it. In fact, I think it looks pretty awesome. It's actually looking a lot better than I thought it would come out as. The back, I've got all the little pins in, keeping it in place. Because of course, what I'm worried about is when the door slams, I don't want it just relying on the, uh, the sticky back plastic there. So, uh, yeah. All that needs to be done is, um, is put it in Herman. So what do you think? I really like it, and Zoe does as well. I think it's ideal. We do have a few other um, panels that need repairing, this one and uh, this one, but they're not as bad as that one was. So uh, whether or not we do the others, or one or two of the others, I don't know. But it is such a good idea. It looks um, looks different, looks more, adds a bit of character, should I say. I think that's the right word. So if you enjoy watching me <laughs> doing this, uh, please give us a thumbs up. And uh, if we've earned your subscription, uh, click that button. And also don't forget to ring the little bell there to get notifications. And if you did like it, let us know why in the comments section below. And uh, if you've done something very similar, we'd also like to know what you've been up to. And until next time, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye. Shh.